What's good, bitch? Bitches? Bitch asses? What's good with y'all? Bringing y'all some State of Decay gameplay today. And uh, I switched it up. You know, switched it up. I'm, that's a song. I can't remember who did it. Switch it up. I, I can't remember. It sounded like a meat meal joint. But this game, I, uh, since y'all shouldn't be here for the gameplay anyway, fuck this gameplay. Fun ass game. But as you can see, I, uh, I cheated like a little bitch. Because I just, I hate the stamina system in this game. I just want to kill zombies. You know what I'm saying? Fuck they bitches. And kill them, you know? I didn't touch the health though. So, you know, foreshadow. But I didn't touch the health. I left that, you know, I don't have unlimited health. But today, um, it's story time. You know, I told y'all every Sunday I'm bringing y'all, uh, every Sunday I'm bringing some game, not gameplay. Every Sunday I'm playing State of Decay because it's Walking Dead month. And I'm telling the story. And last week I told y'all a story about me going camping. I lied. It wasn't my last time going camping. I actually went camping again. You know, this one was with more white people. You know, white people in camping is just... I don't know. You just don't do it. You feel me? Like, you just don't do that shit. You know, they creepy. You know, white people, y'all creepy as hell when it come to camping. So, this story, you know, I'm going to set the scene for y'all. It's a sunny day. I'm on the bus. It's me and my boys. You know what I'm saying? We strapped up. For my last camping trip, we strapped, you know, we got the guns and shit, knives and shit. Alright, we didn't have none of that shit. We had, you know what I'm saying, some tissue. But you know, it could still it could still work. So, it's a sunny day, we on the bus, we chilling, you know what I'm saying, rapping and shit, cause you already know I gets down on the beat. I'm a legend in this rap game. I'm not, but still, you get the point. So, we get to the camping site. I'm scoping out, you know, you know, black people and us. We scope the shit out before we do anything. I'm scoping shit out, and I see uh, white people, white people, white people, more white people. Is that black? Nope, that's not even a black person. That's another white guy. I see a brother and his sister, you know. They look creepy as shit, but what white person don't look creepy? Uh, it's me and my boys, you know, we all chilling this shit. We get our camp assignments. This is another camping trip where we got, we can't go home and shit. So we get our camping assignments, our bunk beds. What's it called? Cabin, whatever it's called. You know, I'm not used to this camping shit. And I know this is me, my boy, the dude and his sister. The dude, I'm rooming with him. It's some fat fuck. Who cares about him? So, we, you know, it's chill. You know, first couple days is chill. We learning how to swim and shit. Uh, I didn't touch the water. You know how I gets down with the swimming shit. I don't get down with the swimming shit. That's the end of that story. That's, that's the plot. And I noticed that my boy, his, his name was Matthew or Mark or some shit. I noticed that he... I noticed that he didn't, uh, he wasn't really, his sister, my bad, his sister wasn't really touching the water. She wasn't in no bathing suit or, like, uh, she was just, like, she was just sitting up bored and shit. And some of the camp counselors, they fucking with shorty ass, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is this big motherfucker doing? Like, who is this, you know? Nah, bitch, I ain't die right here. The fuck? Don't, don't think I died in this game. Because I don't die. You know what I'm saying? I got the unlimited bullets for these zombies. Walking Dead style. They got unlimited bullets. Why can't I? So back to the story. She was, you know, she just kept getting bullied. Like, you know, I'm not with that bully shit. Like, I don't really like bullies because, you know, most bullies, they just insecure about themselves. You know, always got little dicks, you know. Point, if you're a bully, you got a little dick. That's the, the point of that. No homo. But, you know, they just bullying her. And, you know, she already look creepy. And you don't bully creepy kids. You just... That's like one of the... It's just something you do not do. You don't bully creepy kids because 
they're fucking creepy. Like they will, they will shoot you. You know, not even shoot you, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You you get the word I'm looking for. So we back, and we go back to the room. Me and my boys, we trap, we trapping in. You know what I'm saying? We trapping in the cat sites. You know, uh, Matthew. You know, he's creepy. He got his sister in there. You know. I, I was going to game his sister up, but you just don't do that to homie sisters. He want my homie, but, you know, you get the point. You know, he, he look creepy. I'm not finna fuck with his sister. His sister look creepy. You know, she, she was cute and shit, but, you know, she didn't have no ass. You know, I can't do nothing with that ass. Yeah, you know, well, how old was I at this time? 13, 14, 19, I can't remember. This was back in the day, homie. You know? Um... If you ask me why I jumped down, I jumped down because I'm a fucking thug. That's what the fuck we do. We jump down from buildings. Name me one thug, you know, take the stairs. That's some bitch ass shit. So, back at the story, because I keep getting off track. Um, well, I get off track to talk about the game. You know, I think that's I think that's a fair trade off. You know, or is it? You know, find out next time in Dragon Ball Z. But. You know, the next time, the next, the next day, the next few days, we getting to know everybody, you know, the bitches, you know, they all on me again, because, you know, me and my boys, we don't need black people, that's, you know, they want the Mandingo experience. So, we, uh, I noticed that some people turned up missing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never understood that, like, some people, you know, there was that one day, it wasn't there the next day. People saying about they went home and shit. Me, I'm like, well, if they went home, I want to go home too. You know, it's the summertime, bitches outside, butt ass snake. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what the fuck this thing was, but that was that was the ending of my uh, of my life. You know, or is it? <sighs> yeah, it's the end of my life. And shit, I, I, I tried to survive, but uh, you know how scary movies gotta go. Black man got that first. That's just. The, that's the point of scary movies to feel all black people first. So, but yeah, but they they was telling us like it was these sets of twins or a twin set. It was some twins, you know. They was some sluts, but you know I want to fuck. But they they was here on Wednesday, gone on Thursday. I didn't know what you know the camp counselors talking about. You know they they left. They uh their parents came and got them. They was being bad. Which was ironic because me and my boys, you know, we was being bad, you know, we had the straps, you know. And we never we never got sent home, you know, why why didn't come we get sent home? I just didn't understand that because, you know, I didn't want to be sent home anyway. You know, I had to avenge my boy Marcus, you know, kill that motherfucker. But yeah, like I just didn't understand why they got sent home and we didn't get sent home. Cause we was trying to get sent home. Ain't nobody wanna be in camp. Again, like you trying to be outside getting these bitches and hoes. So they on that night. We having a camp out, uh, which is ironic because we was at camp. But you get what I'm saying. We was under a fire and shit, talking and shit. They wanted me to rap. Like you know how racist that is to ask a black person to rap. It's like it's racist. That's all I'm gonna say. And right here, right here, I discovered these two, uh, these two guys. And if you watch Walking Dead, you should know, DTA, don't trust anybody. So, I didn't invite them back to camp, you know? Like, you just don't invite anybody and everybody back to camp. So, you know, I I'm gonna help them out right here, but besides that, I might, you know, I'm not helping them, I'm not bringing them back to our base. So, the next day, I will, I didn't even tell y'all the, the point of the whole camping thing. The camp out where we sitting on the fire, tell, you know, talking, telling jokes, uh, filling on one another, you know, I ain't gonna get into all that, but, you know, they asked me to rap this racist ass shit. A fight broke out, you know, creepy dude's sister, she was just creepy, and they want to jump her ass, she started screaming and shit, like... That, that was, I got scared because I'm like, this bitch finna kill everybody. But luckily, 
nobody died. I mean, I didn't die. That's all that matters. If, you know, if white people kill white people, I don't really give a fuck. I almost dropped my cognac right there. So, the next day, a camp social was helped. You know, and look at these two headshots right here. You know what I'm saying? Headshots, nigga. Fuck your vest. They don't have on vest. You get the point. The fuck. So, the next day, the camp social was helped. And everybody talking about how creepy this bitch is. You know, I'm like, the bitch is creepy, but, you know, that's kind of... That's kind of fucked up that y'all all ganging up on her. It's a gang bang on this creepy chick. Um, like, it was two snitches, like, some two snitch bitches. You know, I hate snitches. You know, they told on the creepy dude's sister. You know, I guess she ain't want to give him no pussy, so they snitched on her. And... One of the camp counselors, they, uh... You know, they, they gave him a private meeting. They told him, come with us, walk with us. We're going to talk to y'all in private. Because, you know, every other kid was trying to listen. And for some reason, they never returned back from that trip. Like, I don't, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I really don't know what happened with them. Like, once again, motherfuckers showing up. You see them one day, they go on the next day. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Me, you know, I'm observant as fuck. Like, um, where the fuck these bitches at, you know? Like, I'm noticing a decrease in my pussy take around her. I want to gain no pussy, but you get what I'm saying. So, you know, after all these motherfucking missing people, you know, you know, when white people go missing, shit got to get done about that. The police arrived and shit. They began searching the camp because... For some reason, these motherfuckers was not at their crib. Like, we called... Apparently, they had friends on camp, on the campus. Not the campus, but on the campsite. And they called, and the parents was like, Nah, little Susie, little Johnny not here, you know? They they were child doing white people shit. And they like, No, the fuck they not. And they called the workers. The police was scared. Uh, me, I'm scared, because, you know... <laughs> Black people and police, we we not exactly the best of friends, you know. We kind of, man. I'm scared out of my motherfucking mind. Oh, shit. Let's get the fuck up out of here. We ain't had no place to go. I didn't know what the fuck I was. So, I'm like, you know, maybe we should stay. Let's stay in our cabins, you know, like. And let's, let's, stay, in our, let's stay in our cabins. But, you know. <sighs> I had to, I had to befriend white people. I just had to befriend whites. And the f sad part about that was these motherfuckers want to go explore. Me, I'm not big on that exploring shit. I tend to stay in the crib and explore my damn self. If you get what I'm saying. And uh, no, I'm not helping you. Fuck you. If you watch The Walking Dead, you should know you should not help nobody. So they want to go exploring. So I'm like, fuck it. You know, I met y'all. You know, y'all my boys. We're going to do this shit together. If y'all die, then that gives me more time to survive. Because they, while they killing y'all, I'm running. And ain't no color catching me, you know. Because I don't look back. I only look forward. Make that rule in life. Don't ever look back. Only look forward. You know. Philosopher Nate coming with you with the philosopher. You feel me? So... I meet up with the police. They want to help us out. And I'm like, fuck that. No, I'm not going to help the police, you know. You know, like Ace Cube said, fuck the police. Coming straight from the underground. The young nigga got bad because I'm brown. I, I hope I don't get sued for that shit. Like, I hope I don't get sued for it. Like, I really don't. So, we, uh, we find, you know what I'm saying, we find creepy dude, Matthew Webber's name was. And his creepy ass sister. We find him, you know, he feels about the beach or some shit. And I kid you not, creepy dude, this this nigga knocked the fuck out. His sister, she seen that humming and shit. Like, I'm already scared. It's dark time. I'm scared of the dark. This bitch is right there humming. I mean, literally humming the songs and shit. Um let me get the, let me get my black ass up out of here. This bitch is also naked, so I'm like, 
I'm not saying I can't be around this shit. I'm black, white woman naked, her brother knocked out. Let me, let me bounce. Nah, I couldn't go nowhere. This bitch, she stops me. And I look down, and I know this, this bitch didn't have no vagina. No, no. This bitch had a dick. This, she was a geek. I didn't know what the fuck was going on with that shit. Uh, like, I, I just, you know, I never seen a transvestite, transsexual, you know, in real life before. And this bitch was like 9 or 10, so that freaked me out even more. Come to find out, this bitch, she been a nigga, all, she been a dude all her life. I just, I was, uh, that creeped me out. Like, I, I never fucked with camping again after that shit. Like, you know. My first time camping, it wasn't nothing going on. But my second time camping, and you see a fucking nine-year-old with a female with a dick, kind of creeps you out for life. You don't want to do that shit no more. You know, I, I just never went camping again. And that's the end of the story, you know. I think I told, I think, I think y'all would be pleasantly surprised with that story. Subscribe if you like the video. Like the video if you subscribe. You know, and give me your bitch number. That's just how it goes.